Hello and welcome to my guide on how to grind Olans of the Shy. Note that this only goes over Shy gameplay and not general spot mechanics. The first section is geared towards beginners that goes over how to buff, how to debuff, and what skills do. So if you are a seasoned Shy that already knows all that, feel free to skip ahead to the when to buff, when to debuff, and the general rotation layout. I hope you learned something from this video and thanks for watching. For gear, you're going to want at least a Tet Soul, if not Pen. Tet's perfectly fine for starting out, but if you really like the spot, really like Shy, obviously go for Pen. For armors, you want... I started out at C9s with a Duo Dead God Chest, uh, not Helmet, just C9 everything. Uh, it's going to die a bunch starting out, but it's perfectly fine. Uh, anything C9 or higher is a good starting point. For light stones, you're going to want death blow combo in monster AP artifacts. Death blow is the best for Shy because RMB does not have 100% crit. And it's your biggest damaging skill, so you're going to want to hit, get that crit hit percentage. Death blow is two blades and two predations. Uh, the camo damage set is also good, but not as good as death blow, which is three fallins and an iridescent, if I remember correctly. And Vicious Shadows is good if your party feeds you BSR all the time, but 99% of the time, you're going to want Death Blow. For the skill tree, Shy doesn't require a lot of skill points. If for some reason you are down on skill points, you can forego these Gathering and Alchemy ones. Uh, here's my skill tree and what I lock. Now you can pause if you need more time, but the talent... You pretty much max Sun, Moon, Stars all the time. You can max one of these four. Um, you can max BSR Song if you have double shy, but that typically doesn't happen and requires some coordination. So most of the time you're going to max Sun, Moon, Stars, which is your speed buff. And then for the Rebombs. Rebombs, the first one's kind of personal preference. There's some shy tech with uh, over here there that I'm going to go over later. That is useful, but if you find yourself low health a lot, sharing is caring is a good heal. Uh, for the 57 one, Twirl Boom is great for pulling. It generates three leaves as well. The 58 Rebomb, I never use, but I expect now it's useful for three leaves if you ever want to use it. Here are the add-ons that I stole from Vandico, who's a really good shy. I'm not sure if he's still using minus evasion rate or minus DP on try this, but either one of those will work. If you want to swap out other stuff and feel like other add-ons might be better, go for it. This is just a suggestion, just a template. So feel free to either copy this or create your own from it. For hotbar, the only mandatory ones are Sun Moon Stars, Misty Haze, Sun's Fury, Delusive Light, and the third or bomb if you choose to use it. Optional for me are E buff and Z buff, so I don't mess up while grinding. Uh, people used to put elixirs on there, but with the new fairy, you can pop elixirs and pure fumes automatically. Uh, anything else is up to you. Feel free to change it. You don't have to use this one. For quick slots, I have mine set up so that Sun's Fury to get into buffs is at the top left. And then the left column is all the buffs, so I can see them right there. And then the right column is Delusive Light to get into Talon for Misty Haze. Uh, you can add to this, you can change it up how you want, but those are the main skills I want there. And then my BSR and Leaves are also there. So to buff, you get into talent, hold F and press A, S, and D. And to get into talent, there's two different ways people like to use. The first way is you hop bar Sun's Fury, cancel it with hop or shift W, and then buff, and that looks like this. And then you get out with either side L and B or hit space bar with 30 leaps. The second way is you hop bar Sun, Moon, Stars, and then hold F and spam ASD for buffs. And then once they're popped, same thing, get out with side LMB or in that case, spacebar. There's no better way to do it. 
Just uh, try both and see what you like best. I myself prefer the Sun's Fury method. Other shies prefer hot barring Sun Moon Stars. I would sure recommend you hot bar anyway. So try out both and see what you like best. Your self buffs besides add ons are hop or shift W. Besides being a movement skill, it gives 10% movement speed and it's an iframe off cooldown, which is 3 seconds. It's Next one is tuck and roll, forward F, which is 20% attack speed, which is very good. You want that up at all times. If you're struggling with accuracy, you can shift L and B for try this, and that is 6% ack for 10 seconds, which is useful if you are evasion or have lower gear, because you don't have begs for the accuracy. And then quick 2 or down RMB is 6% evasion for 20 seconds. So your main debuff is Misty Haze, and that's minus 10% evasion and DP for 30 seconds, which is really good. It's on a 3 minute cooldown. And to get into that, you can either go into Talon and hit Q. I like doing that through Delusive Light and Hopping, kind of like we use Sun's Fury for buffing. Other people hotbar it. And use it off hotbar. So if you use it off delusive light, it looks like this, and then you get out with side LMB or a space bar. And other debuffs are quick two, which is down RMB is minus 35 DP for 10 seconds, and hop three, which is SLMB, and that is also minus 35 DP for 10 seconds. There's probably other debuffs, but they're pretty insignificant compared to those. Your fastest form of movement is the skateboard or yippee, which is WRMB. And you can press F to boost. And if you want to stop, hit S or LMB. Uh, when that's on cooldown or you want to go short distances, you can do hop and left click and chain that and throw tuck and roll or WF in there occasionally when that's off cooldown. And that'll be your short distance mobility. You can also do hop for the movement speed buff, hit tab, put your weapons away, and just sprint. The two main skills for pulling are twirl boom or shift Z, and also eat this, which is LMB RMB, which has a really long range. Shai's E buff gives 30 AP and 5% special attack damage for 30 seconds for self and 10 allies. It's really good for Olens. If you can find time to pop it, you could either hit E in Talent or I hotbar it and hold C to get out of it. Even though it's still really long, that's one of the fastest ways to get out. So if you can find time to use it, throw it in there. The Z buff is 50% crit for self and allies. It lasts for 60 seconds for you and 30 seconds for your allies. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can obviously press Z. You can lock it and use it from hotbar. Or if you unlock it, you can also hold RMB, which is useful for combos. However, the evasion debuff from RMB will not apply. Using skills generates these leaves, and different skills generate different amount of leaves. And for every 10 leaves, when you press spacebar, is 10 AP for yourself and allies. So 10 leaves is 10 AP, 20 leaves is 20 AP, 30 leaves is 30 AP. So in general, you want to wait until you have 30 leaves to press spacebar. And as you can see here, as I'm doing skills, I'm generating these leaves. And once you have 30, press spacebar. It will give 30 AP for 60 seconds for myself and 30 seconds for allies. So you want to keep that up as much as possible. Your main source of damage once your buffs are out and debuffs are out is 1, 2, 3 or hold RMB. You can get it to come out faster by pressing LMB before holding RMB. And there's a skill called Go, which you can activate during the first hit. And you hold Q during the first hit of RMB, and then go back to holding RMB, and I'll finish out the skill. You can get Go to where you want it by turning your camera. So it always goes to the left, so turn your camera to the right. And 
that's how you control it to go forward. So let's make a combo out of all the skills we just learned. Once you have all your buffs up, especially Sun, Moon, Stars for the attack speed, you want to keep WF up for the attack speed, down RMB, down LMB both for add-ons, hit RMB, and then hit Q for go, and then keep holding RMB. And then this is what that looks like in a completed combo. So as you loop this, you'll see that the attack speed from WF wears off just at the third hit of RMB. So if you keep looping this with your buffs up, you'll still get the RMB off and my buffs just wore out. But you just keep looping that. And that is my combo. Some people do LMB before RMB. Um, I'm not sure it matters. I like getting the attack speed off from down RMB with my add-ons first. But it's kind of personal preference. Keep uh, playing around with it. Do that one more time with full buffs up. And then you can slow it down if you need to. And now you get the point. So this is the start location. This is where you buff up and keep your horses. If you need more time, uh, feel free to pause the video. You leave your horses over here, 10 buff. Uh, once you all your checklist has gone through, go kill this golem. Go over here, pull this ad and that one. And once the arm dies, you're going to want to stand around here or else that one's going to leash. And you can go over to this guy and pull the ad across the street. And he's going to leash around just after this bush. Uh, jungle or forest, uh, you're going to have one or two people go up here and one or two people go up here, preferably one to pull this guy. And this one over to this golem. This golem doesn't have any extra ads. You need to go out of the way to pre-pull. Kill that guy too. Once you get to here, there will be a golem that leashes around up here. Uh, it's indomitable. His name is Jeff. So you can kill that guy. The ones over here are tricky. Some people pull this one to this mob, but I like pulling this and that one to this pull. And the guy over there leashes around this bush, so you're going to want to keep it over here. Then you drop off the cliff. A hunter's clothes is really useful for this, by the way. I've seen some people die from not having them. Once you come up the stairs, there's two ads up here. You're going to want to pull the this pole. And this one, you're going to want to pull that ad to over here. This pull has this ad and this one. You're going to want to pull to this guy. Some attack speed. This pull has three. That one, that one, and this one, you pull to this guy. Then you go up, up the hill. This one has these ads. Then once you go over to here, you pull this guy over to here. He'll leash somewhere around where I'm standing. I'm at aggro limit, so it's not pulling. And then at least one person goes around here to that one. And at least one person, I'm probably going to get nuked. One person goes up here, pulls this guy to here. 
And then if you have 12 minutes or more remaining on your elixir, sorry, if you have 12 minutes until you get here or three minutes or more on your elixir, you can pull this guy. But if you have less than three minutes remaining on your elixir by the time you get here, then skip skip that one. And then you go back to the beginning and start over with the first column. And that's the rotation. In a high-end group, the only time you'll need to buff is when the golem spawns adds. In a lower-end group, you might need to buff when the golem spawns adds and at the end of the golem. So just feel it out and see what the timing is for your group. As for debuffing, you want a Misty Haze at the beginning of the golem. If it comes up in the middle of the push, then save Misty for the next one. When you should go pre-pull is after the arm dies of whatever golem you're killing. You go pre-pull the next golem and then come back and kill the current one. Then by the time you move on to the next one, it should be fully awake and ready for you to attack. The exception to that is the third golem in which one person breaks off to pull a forest and one person breaks off to pull the golem across the road. If the one across the road goes dormant by the time you kill forest and goes down, then you can just ignore that and pre-pull like usual after forest. Also, for the really long pulls, you may run out of stamina pretty easily. So if you have a striker or zerker in your group, have them pre-pull the long ones. So there is something you can do to eke out a little more trash. And it is using the shift extra bomb over there on hearts and after the second golem spawns adds you shift x to heart go back kill the arm and there's two more spots you can do that after this golem spawns adds you go over to the uh, next heart Shift X to aggro it and come back and kill the arm. Then if you're fast enough, once this golem spawns adds, you go over to the heart across the street, aggro it, and then come back and kill the arm. Before I show a grind clip, I'd like to thank the History Ruins Discord, the homies in digital, and all the pro shies that helped me along the way. I'd also like to thank everyone I've grinded with, especially these guys. It's been a lot of fun. I'm going to put everything I didn't cover that I could think of in the description. So check that out. And here's the grind.